So you want to ride home? I thought that was a given. <laughs> so I'm thinking about calling a tumbling practice tomorrow. On our one day off? <laughs> I just want to be ready. Okay, cheer camp is coming up, and that's a whole other world. You do realize you have nothing to worry about, right? You're a shoe in for camp champion. You're sweet, and I love you, but there are other cheerleaders from other squads who are just as good. Maybe, but you're the best. Oh, shoot. I think I left my water bottle on the field. Are you sure? It's not in here. Is that it? I could have swore I had it on the field. So, I heard that Andrew from Roosevelt is gonna be at cheer camp this year. Dibs! What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hmm. I'll let you have him if you can throw a fullback handspring. But that's not fair! If I could, I would. I have faith in you. You just need more. What? I felt weird there for a second. <laughs> See, this is why people need days off. You're all cheered out. Yeah, maybe. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I'm just dehydrated. Well, don't leave your water in the car next time. Andrew's gonna be one of the few strict guys there, so he's gonna have his pick, but... Whoa, what the hell? I don't feel so good. Just stop the car. <gasps> Lily! nice yeah i guess oh your enthusiasm is overwhelming <laughs> you know there's still time for me to not be here we can go camping one last summer hurrah love to work and you have to kick some cheer butt that phrase worked better when i was little yeah well when you were little you used to love cheer camps yeah, well, when I was little, Mom was still... Yeah. And I know it's hard. And nothing feels the same. But, Sophia, you've worked your whole life for an opportunity like this. Well, at the end of the day, only one cheerleader gets a scholarship. Yeah, and that one cheerleader could be you. I guess. We need this. Word on the street. This college ain't cheap. So you need to put your chin up. Throw your pom-poms in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. <laughs> Go get them. You're lucky I already love you, Dad. I love you, too. Hey, say hi to Jack for me. I will. All right, lady. calling you? Sorry. Just feeling out of it. I still can't believe I'm here. First cheer camp ever, and on top of that, a chance at a scholarship. You're hoping to be considered? Oh, yeah. I figured instead of going to someone like you, who has cheered her whole life and won competitions, it could go to me. Someone who joined the sport six months ago. Well, Jack, once you realize how brutal these camps can be, you might feel differently. Oh, I say, bring it on. Come on. 
We're not late, are we? I don't think so. The email said 10 a.m. Uh, you're not late. They just all want to make a good impression for when the coaches walk in. <sighs> I'm Sophia. Charlotte. Jack. Hmm. What school are you guys from? We both go to Kennedy. Hmm. You? Franklin. Anybody else from your school here? Uh, we were supposed to have... Roosevelt High's award-winning cheer squad. How do you guys both know all that? <laughs> How do you not? She has like 500,000 followers. Okay, I get it. She's a big deal. She was once featured in Teen Vogue. Oh my God, that's amazing. Welcome to Pacific U Cheer Camp. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, I'm Coach Cooper. And I started this camp as a place for high school cheerleaders to develop the skills to make themselves stand out. Each year, we admit a small, exclusive group of cheerleaders who have shown potential. Now, as most of you know, at the end of camp, we will have a showcase for esteemed judges from cheer programs from all over the country. And the athlete deemed camp champion will be awarded a full ride college scholarship. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our two team coaches, Mary Parker and Beth Richards. Hey, y'all. Just call me Coach Mary. Welcome. So I've coached a few squads over the years, but mostly I love working with young athletes and sharing my passion for this wonderful sport. That's so sweet. I'm here because I know cheerleading inside and out. Been cheering since I was 14, and I am proud to be the commissioner of the National Cheer Group. There's only one place to be, and that's on top. Not just up the pyramid, but in life. Looking forward to showing you what it means to be the best. And this is Greg. He's a medical student here at Pacific University of Southern California with an undergraduate degree in kinesiology. He'll be our camp trainer. Really excited to be here this year, and even more excited to make sure you all have a safe, fun camp experience. Please don't hesitate to come to me with any injuries or questions. I'm here for all of you. Also, please remember to stretch. Now, before we give out the dorm assignments, I do have some sad news I want to share with you all. One of our fellow campers, Lily Walker, has been disqualified from participating in camp this year. The police found her passed out in her car after an erratic driving incident. When they ran a blood test, they found illegal performance enhancement drugs in her system. Now, I tell you all this as a warning. We have a zero tolerance policy for drugs and alcohol here at camp. You're here to perfect your craft and work hard, not to party and cheat. Is that understood? Yeah. Doping for cheer? It's a bit much. It's not what happened. Great. Once you get all settled in at your dorms, we're going to meet over at the practice gym for athlete assessments. And we're going to determine which team and which coach you'll be working with for the remainder of camp. All right. why Coach Cooper was talking. Relax, Mom. Don't speak to me like that. Here, I am your coach. You need to stay focused and take every second of this camp seriously. I can see the vein in your neck. Do you care about your future? Or is this just a joke to you? I care. I care more than you know, and I don't need you or anyone to remind me what's at stake here. Then show me you can win. I will. Looks like we're roomies. <laughs> I was supposed to room with Lily, so I was worried that they would stick me with one of those girls from the valley that uses way too much hairspray. Good to see a familiar face. <laughs> well, I'm not a big fan of hairspray. <laughs> Did you get your cheer uniform? Just picked it up. So, you were friends with Lily, right? 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> really sucks what happened to her. Yeah, for a lot of reasons. Mostly because I know that she wasn't on anything. It just wasn't her. She would never do anything to jeopardize her cherry career. Well, didn't the police find it in her system? I don't know. I just know that she wouldn't do anything like that. Well, sometimes he act differently under pressure. Did you see Victoria's face when Coach Cooper was talking about Lily? She was all smiles. I think it's because she knew her only competition for camp champion was Lily. Wait, but camp hasn't even started yet. It's still anyone's prize. Coach Richards is Victoria's mom. So trust me, she's winning this. Lucky her. Ready to go be sorted? It, the assessment is just for them to divide us into the good team and the not so good team. They call them the red and blue team to be more diplomatic. <laughs> okay, how do you know all that? My sister attended the camp a few years ago. They always choose the camp champion from the red team, so if we're not on that, there is little to no hope. We'll start with the dance portion of our assessment. Victoria Richards. <laughs> Next up, Andrew Dillon. Oh, this is gonna be good. That's my roommate. Oh, lucky. Crush much? Yeah, he's the nicest guy, but he's cool. It helps that he's also super hot. <laughs> well, have you guys ever? He barely even knows my name. Let's change that. Sophia Jacobs. Woo! Who's that? I think she goes to Kennedy. At least that's what her back says. You're a regular Sherlock Holmes. She's too good. I wouldn't worry. Everyone knows you're gonna win camp champion. I'm not worried. I'm just stating a fact. Okay. Kara Weber. Yeah, yeah. You were really good. Thanks, but it's just cheer, right? Not like you can save lives. You might actually have a chance at the scholarship. My dad would like that. And you? I don't know. Cheer just doesn't really do much for me anymore. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna get some water. She's had a tough year. Personal stuff. Are you guys... No, 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 we're just friends. Hmm. You're gonna have to show me that move you did on the floor today. That shimmy thing? It's not hard. I actually learned it from a music video. Well, maybe not for you, but I'm not too good at any of this. What are you talking about? You did a great routine. Mm, it was average. But it's okay. I know I'm nothing special. Don't say that. Nah, it's okay. I like the sports, just... I know I'm not a standout. <laughs> yeah, well... I'm not sure I even really like the sport much anymore. 
Look at us, a couple of cheer misfits. I used to love it, but my mom died last year. Oh. She was my biggest fan. Came to all my competitions, my games. Just feels empty now. I'm so sorry. Where are your phones? On silent? They just posted camp teams. And? You want the good news or the bad news first? Good news. We're all on the same team. Bad news? It's the blue team. Well, I expected that from me, but... Sophia, you should be on the red team. Well, hey. This way, I get to spend more time with you guys. What team did Andrew make? Red team? <sighs> Darn. You want to jump in? I'm just going to watch a movie with Andrew. Okay. Have fun. See ya. <clears throat> so, uh, he's in love with you. Who? Jack? No. We've just been best friends since, like, second grade. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> I know there are rumors out there about the two teams, but just know, to me, you are all potential champions. And as long as you put in the work, you have just as much a chance at Camp Champ as anyone else. All right, let's go, guys. Hit the track. A little warm up. Let's go. All right, let's get into formation. Sophia, I want to try you out as front flyer. I'd rather not have that spot. You'd be great. You have the perfect build for it. No. I'm not a flyer. I'm, I can't do heights. OK, no problem. We'll have you be front spot. Thanks. we've officially met. I'm Victoria. I know. I mean, it's hard to not know who you are. Oh, you're sweet. I'm Sophia. Yeah, I couldn't help but over here. You didn't want to be a flyer? Smart thinking with the whole heights thing. Flyers never get the best material for a routine. Oh, no, um, I just really can't do heights ever since I was little. Oh, yeah, I get it. Well, I... Just wanted to say, I saw you yesterday, and you are really good. Thanks. Blue team, let's go! Malcolm dead. You too. Don't miss news. Morning, then we have more time for conditioning in the afternoon. We want them to be good athletes. We don't want to run them ragged, Beth. Come in. Mary. How did Blue Team do today? I saw you guys struggling. It was fine. Things were actually looking better by the end of practice. Hmm. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about Sophia Jacobs. I really feel with her skill level, she should be on the red team. We went through this after the assessment. I didn't feel she was strong enough. I was addressing Coach Cooper. Let's just monitor her for the next few days, and if it looks like she'll do better on red, we'll move her up. If we all agree to it. I would hate to see her being held back for fear that she might steal your daughter's spotlight. That is quite the accusation. I don't play favorites. I coached here out of my love and adoration for the sport. Just because my daughter happens to be here and happens to be a standout has nothing to do with my team's selections. Both teams are in the showcase. Both teams get judged. But red goes first. And I've heard there's never been a camp champ from blue. So change that. <laughs> do it again. Oh, it's late. I said do it again. <sighs> the middle isn't clean. You're still missing the counts. There's a camp curfew. You don't have to worry about that. Just do it again. 
One more time? As many times as it takes until it's perfect. <laughs> what did you just say? I am doing this for you, Victoria. Your idiot of a father lost everything we had to that crook accountant. We're broke. Do you get that? Do you want to cheer in college? Even want to go to college? Do you actually want to make something of yourself? This is your only shot. Understand? Dad is not an idiot. Do not stand up for him. He doesn't give a crap about us. Why do you think he left? <sighs> but I do. I love you, Victoria. I know, Mom. I want this too. Then prove it. Do it again. Someone sees. Then you're helping me stretch. I've been very tight lately. We're supposed to be out of practice. I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yes. This one's no big deal. It's that Sophia girl. No. I'm not doing that again. Lily could have died. But she didn't. You said that was all you needed. But I can't be wrong. No. It's too risky. But I love you. Love you too. Then show me. It's no big thing. I just need you to pick me up a few things. What do you need? Competitive cheer is all about, well, competition. And here at camp, we like to encourage healthy competition. So today's mile will be a race between the blue and red teams. The team with the fastest average time is the winner. Ready. Here, asked it running. I like the total package. Far from it. I feel like I feel like you should be on the red team. Well, that's nice of you to say. Well, the fact that they split us up is ridiculous anyway. Really? Yeah. I mean, the most important part about cheer isn't competition. It's unity. True. And in the name of unity, you should stop by dorm room 205 tonight. It's one of the empty ones. A couple of us are gonna throw a mini rager. In a dorm room? <laughs> well, we have to make do with what we have. And besides, it's time to actually have fun at cheer camp. Okay, well, can I invite Jack and Charlotte? Of course. The more the merrier. Just don't tell the coaches. I won't. <laughs> See you tonight. <laughs> New friend? Yeah, something like that. She coming to the party? Of course. Are you worried that she's your competition? She's like the only one as good as you. The only thing I'm worried about is how much fun we're gonna have tonight. The average time for the blue team, seven minutes and 14 seconds. Average time for the red team, six minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> Just out of the blue, she invited us? Why is she being that nice? It was because maybe she is nice. Was she seems like she actually wants to be friends. Doesn't it seem weird, given the fact that you're her biggest competition? I'm really not. And she hasn't said or done anything that makes me think that. So she just wants to be friends? Why is that so hard to believe? <laughs> you're right. 
I don't know, I just get a weird feeling about her, but maybe I'll reevaluate. See? There you go. Keep an open mind. So, what do you say? Could be fun. I don't think we're supposed to have parties. I'm sure it's just an after-hours hangout thing. Nothing bad. I'll go if Andrew will be there. <laughs> I'll find out. Jack? You in? Yeah, fine. Good. I think this will be fun. You came! Yay! This is Jack and Charlotte. Oh, come in. Welcome, welcome. Andrew, have you met Charlotte? Seen you around. Nice to meet you. Same. Uh, your cartwheel was awesome. Thank you. Does anybody want any vodka? We've got plenty. I'm not a big drinker. It's just to help relax. Kim can be so intense, you know. You couldn't have gotten better stuff. I didn't see you bring anything. Oh, um, <laughs> maybe just a sip. Not the best drink I've ever had. <laughs> Sophie, are you sure? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, come on. We can play a drink drinking game. Red team versus blue. Kara, she said she didn't want to. Oh, just no. We're safe here. It's just us friends. You guys got any snacks or is it just drinks? Chips are over here. I'll take some of those. Oh, I just remembered I left some amphetamines in my room. Trust me, Sophia. I bet that's more your thing. I'll go get them. <laughs> Time to party! <laughs> is she okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's been drinking for a while. Fun party. She just wants to make friends. I have to pee. Right here? I'm just letting you know where I'm going in case you want to join me. No, thanks. It's just an anonymous tip. It's probably not anything. I thought I heard music from the second floor. Mm. The coaches are coming. Oh, let me the cups. few of us couldn't yeah. sleep, so we came up here to chat. You're not supposed to be up here. Oh. Have you been drinking? <laughs> Just soda. You should all go back to your rooms. There's a curfew for a reason. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Luckily, Jack heard them coming and got rid of everything. Apparently, they smelled it on Kara's breath, but since they couldn't prove anything, she got away with a formal warning. It's terrible. She's fine. The girl's a lightweight. I'm just super thankful that none of you guys got in trouble. It was all my fault, and I'll be way more careful next time. Maybe just no more parties? Good call. I'm just super thankful for Jack. Hey, guys. Uh, don't worry, Greg. We're stretching. <laughs> Wasn't that. All camp packages come to the trainer's office. This came for you, Sophia. Ooh, a secret admirer? It's from my dad. Oh. Red team, why aren't you running your laps? Let's go! Slave driver calls. What is it? It's my mom's necklace. Found this the other day. Your mom put your first year picture in here. 
She'd be so proud of you. Love, Dad. That's sweet. Let's get to practice, shall we? What? really good. I can tell you work out a lot. Oh. <laughs> I played hockey up until last year. Oh. Yeah. I would have thought you were just a long-time cheerleader. Nope. New this year. That Sophia talked me into joining. I'm so glad she did. Let me know if you want to practice later. You good, right? You and me, I'd love to give you some tips. What are you doing? Someone could see. What was that? Relax. How can I relax when you're just all over that kid? This jealous look on you is not hot at all. Do you understand what I risk to be with you? Babe, trust that I know exactly what I'm doing. This is just my way to get him away from being Sophia's watchdog all the time. Got it? You know I only have eyes for you. Hey, Monique. Hey. What's up, girl? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Obviously, she's into you. Maybe. Just seems a little sudden. Like she didn't seem into me in the dorm room last night. Well, let's just say she is into you. Are you gonna go for it? I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. I think you should. You do? Yeah. I mean, she's hot, she's talented. Popular. Mm -hmm. It's what any guy would want, right? Yeah. I guess. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Exactly. Keep an open mind. Me. Sorry, I thought you heard me come in. Oh, you're good. I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd take you up on your offer, you know, show me some pointers. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. It's really simple. So when you lift in your pyramids, you're gonna wanna lower your hands a little bit. Oh. Yeah, like this. So you're lifting a lot from here, and you really wanna be lifting from here. Just like that. Feel the difference? You have really strong hands. I don't think anyone's ever complimented my hands before. Great hands, great arms, great shoulders, great chin, great lips. I'm sorry, I don't think I can do this with you. What? I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression, but I just don't think I can do this. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever said no to this. It's, it's nothing to do with you. You're hot. It's more I'm just in love with someone else. Seriously? I, I'm sorry, I should, I should just go. I 
I love that last part. We have to add it to the routine. I didn't realize anyone was still here. What are you still doing out here? I just felt like practicing. That's good work ethic. It's more I feel like I need to play catch up. Why is that? I feel like I've been ignoring cheer ever since. I was at practice last year when I got the call that my mom had a brain aneurysm. She died a few hours after that. And cheers never felt the same. I lost my mom young too. Oh? Sometimes it feels impossible to focus on the simple things. I get it. Exactly. But now that I'm here and we're getting closer to showcase, I'm starting to realize that she wouldn't want me to waste this opportunity. Moms always want what's best for their kids. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to dust off the rest. Ugh, you could have fooled me. Your talent does not go unnoticed, and honestly, I think you should be on the red team. Really? Yes. But unfortunately, it's not entirely up to me. But just now, I'm working on it and rooting for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Day Victoria? Because you're into me? Wow, I never thought of us like that. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Oh, 
Where were you? What? Last night I nearly died waiting for you. Some nut tried to run me over. What are you talking about? Your text. I waited for you in the parking lot. You never came, and instead some drunk psycho thought it would be funny to almost kill me. Wait, what text? The text last night to meet. I never texted you last night. <laughs> I never sent those. That's how you're gonna play this? Well, maybe I was hacked. How would a hacker know to type all that? Okay, Jack, you need to calm down. I've never seen you like this. Well, you weren't almost murdered last night waiting for someone who'll never see you. What does that mean? I'm done. I've wasted too many years waiting for you. And you'll just see me as some friend that you can just stand up. Wait, Jack, I... Right? Last year, I thought he liked this girl, Harper. Well, it sounds like he joined here for you. I hope I didn't lead him on. Maybe part of you just didn't want to see it because then you would have to decide if you felt the same way, and if you didn't, then you would be losing a friend. Maybe. He was just so mad. And to accuse me of lying, I didn't send those texts. I believe you. Hey, girls. Have you seen Jack today? He's not feeling well. Oh, poor Jack. I was gonna see if he wanted to go on a run. He's such a good guy, you know? Well, hopefully he feels better soon. Yeah, I hope so. Actually, I'm gonna go check on him. Tell him I wish him well. She's such a sweetie. Yeah, I'm really glad I met her. Oh, you two didn't know each other before camp? Mm-mm, could have fooled me. <laughs> Yes, you just click with some people. You were close with Lily, weren't you? Yeah. Such a shame about her. It is. I really thought she could have won camp champion. Maybe. But not if she was using illegal substances to do so. <laughs> it's funny, though, isn't it? What? You gravitate towards being besties with really good cheerleaders. So? It doesn't bother you existing as someone else's shadow? That's not what I'm doing. Charlotte, I've seen you cheer. I know you can't do a full round out or a back tuck. Maybe girls like Lily and Sophia hang around you to make themselves feel superior. Just a little something to think about. Bitch. Jack? Are you in there? Can we talk? Look, I'm sorry you almost got hurt because of me, but I promise you I didn't send those texts. I had no idea how you felt about me. Please, can we just talk? Go away, Sophia. Okay, fine. Maybe later? everyone. If I was one of the judges at the final showcase, it'd be a really tough decision. I'm sure it's really exciting to see all your hard work come together. <laughs> there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Coach Cooper bought us all pizza. We're gonna picnic on the practice field. When I asked Andrew if he was going, he said only if I was too. 
So come on, let's go. Victoria is meeting you here. Oh. Coach Mary is trying to make the case to move me onto the red team. So Victoria said she'd help me practice. And leave the blue team? It would just be a good opportunity. It, it, of course. Just, we're finally getting off-campus food, and you want to stay here and practice with her? She's nice, okay? Don't be like that. Like what? Yeah, I actually don't think that she's nice at all. She's kind of a bitch. Hey, come on. Victoria is taking her time to help me make sure this routine is perfect. Okay, fine. Whatever, have fun. Oh, hey, Charlotte. You gonna come practice with us? <laughs> nope, I'm gonna go do something that you would never do. Load up on carbs and cheese. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that sports bra. Oh, thanks. That's the thing about Victoria. Trust me, I've cheered with her for years. She's only nice to you if you're good or have something to give her. Or if you have money. Sophia doesn't see it at all. Well, yeah, when you're in Victoria's orbit, you don't see it. I dated her in eighth grade. It was the worst month of my life. Who hacks a phone to send such specific texts? Why not get credit card info or email? That's why I feel like she's lying to me. And someone else could have sent the messages from her phone and then deleted them. Her phone's always on her. She could have been asleep. So someone broke into her room and sent those texts? Victoria. But why? Just because I turned her down? I don't know. I mean, this whole thing seems a little bit off. Just do yourselves a favor. Stay away from Victoria. I mean, Sophia's not stupid, though. Does she really not see what kind of monster Victoria is? Clearly she hasn't. Not when you're under her spell. Um, so the arms are gonna go like this. things fast. You're a good teacher. Thanks. Oh. Oh no. What? Cara just sent me something. Sophia's stupid though. Kind of monster. Clearly. I guess they were talking crap on you and Cara thought you might want to know. I can't believe Jack would say that. Yeah. Typical nice guy facade. They pretend to be this great person, and then once you shoot them down, their true nature shows through. I've seen it many times before. But hey, it's good to know who your real friends are. I guess. It's the people who believe in you and lift you up is who you should be spending your time with. Why don't you come out with me tonight? Ow. Yes, I'll call us a lift, and I know this club that never checks IDs. Come on, it'll be fun. Just two real friends out on the town. Okay, as long as we're not out too late. Yeah, they'll never know we were gone. <laughs> Whoa, why are you dressed like that? Going out? Where? To a place where friends don't call their friends stupid. What? I know what you said about me. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so now you're lying to my face. Look, I have to go. Victoria's waiting for me. But she's not a good person, Sophia. Oh, good. So now you got him on your side? I think oh. she's the one who sent me those texts and tried to run me over. You sound crazy. Just be careful, okay? I'm not yours to worry about, Jack. Relax. 
Who are you? Someone who just sees things a little more clearly. It's a little late to be wandering around campus. Are you here with the cheer camp? Yes. We were just going for a walk. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No. No. And there is no way you're a guard here. You're way too hot. You do realize I have to alert the camp that two of their girls are wandering around campus intoxicated? We're going to bed right now. I hope so. What are your names? Carl Weber. ID? Don't sit in this dress. And your name? Charlotte. Tell them your name. Charlotte Brown. I'll wait here and make sure you head to your dorm. Drunk? Maybe. Maybe not. What's it to you? I need to lay down. All right. Okay. Come on. Nope.
Let's run it through from the top. Wait, where's Sophia? She came home really drunk last night. Still out this morning. I guess we'll start without her. I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right. Get in your spot. We're going to run it through. Will Charlotte Brown and Carl Weber come with me? Now. Coaches, you too. I swear I wasn't walking around in the middle of the night drunk. Uh, same. Unless I was sleepwalking. Campus security caught you. Wait, it wasn't us. At least it wasn't me. I don't know about Kara. It wasn't me. Work with me, girls. Why would security give me your names? Someone lied to him. Ask the guard to come in and ask him if it was me he saw. I don't think that's necessary. Well, it is if you're accusing me of something that I didn't do. Look, I have a pretty good idea of who was walking around drunk last night. Really? Who? Unlike them, I have class, and I'm not gonna just throw out names to ruin people's reputations. Are you okay? Attention, everyone. Carl Weber is no longer a camper here. Sophia, please take her spot on the red team. Welcome to the team. You should say something. No. It's fine. Everything worked out how it's supposed to. But Kara? We need to talk. What? I know it was you who got busted last night. You're lucky I was in that office. Otherwise, they were gonna send a guard to identify you. Would you rather I got kicked out? Of course not! I'd rather you shape up and stop messing around and realize how important this is. You don't think I know that? I'm trying to do everything in my power not to let anybody else beat me. It's not working. So you have to try even harder, otherwise she'll get what I... what you deserve. <laughs> okay. All of this is for you, Victoria. Everything I do is for you. I know, Mom. Then start acting a little more grateful. Drunk. I'm not saying that as an excuse. I'm telling you why I made a mistake. Almost getting me kicked out of camp? That mistake? Great apology. I am so sorry. You know, I'm lucky that I got off with a warning. But since Kara already got busted in the dorm, she didn't get a chance. We didn't think it through. You know what? Just tell me this. Who said my name? You or her? Oh. <laughs> Had you all wrong. You're just like her. You two are perfect together. Listen, Charlotte, please. Crashing on the couch in the lobby. What's with you tonight? Just a lot on my mind. Sophia? Yeah. That girl has like nine lives. Nothing bad can happen to her. Now she's on the red team and has a chance to shine for the judges. I wouldn't worry too much. You're good. You got this. That means nothing to me. Let's say you don't win camp champion. Would that be the worst thing in the world? If I don't win this, then that's it for me. It's not true. You're smart and beautiful. A cheer scholarship isn't everything. Tell that to my mother. If I could, I would. <laughs> you speak. Tell me what you need. Just be the good trainer that you are. Okay, listen up. Can you 
need you guys to focus, please. Showcase is just a few days away, and we still have a lot of work to do. I want to try to add two extensions in the middle part. Sophia, you're going to be a flyer. Andrew, Victoria, base. I can't be a flyer. That's nonsense. I've seen your tumbling. You're the perfect size. I don't do heights. <laughs> you're on red team now, so just do as I say, okay? Let's try it on my counts. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. this on it. Your range of motion makes me think it's a twist rather than a sprain, but I'd like to monitor it to be sure. Well, when can I get back out? Honestly, I think it's best you stay off it for a while. The rest of camp, in fact. But I can move it. But not well. And I'm worried being on it will just make things worse. It's weak right now. The showcase is in a few days. <laughs> yes, but what's more important? Permanent damage to your ankle or a showcase? The showcase? I have to win camp champion. At least, I really want a fair shot at it. This is my professional opinion. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Of course. But I do have to let the coaches know what I think of it. They can decide what to do. Am I free to go? Yeah, here. I'm good. Please, just for the rest of the day at least. kill you. What? Lily? Yes? Thanks so much for meeting me. I have to admit, I was super confused when I got your DM. Yeah. Um, I've been rooming with Charlotte at camp. Oh, I miss that girl. Tell her I said hi. When we first met, she made it clear she didn't think you would... Well... Take performance enhancement drugs? Yeah. I didn't. So how did you get kicked out of camp? My blood work told a different story. Trust me, I'm just as confused as you are. One minute I'm fine, and the next I feel sick and dizzy and I almost crashed my car. It sounds like you were drugged. Obviously. I never took anything. Well, did you drink anything weird? Or eat something? The only weird thing was that... I could have sworn I had my water bottle with me at practice. But then it was in my car. Well, let's say someone did dose your water. It would have to be someone who knew how to knock you out. And how to get the steroid to show up on the blood work. Yeah. Someone with medical knowledge. Someone like Greg, the camp trainer, who I think is hooking up with Victoria Richards. Do you know her? That little bitch. I knew she couldn't stand that I was good. But to go that far? Yeah. My guess is she found you to be a threat. And lucky me, I'm her next target. So what are you gonna do? Because trust me, the police won't believe you. They called me crazy. I just gotta find my own proof.
Come in. I'm so thankful you were there. I showed Victoria the video you sent me. She said that Greg attacked her and she was afraid to come forward because she thought no one would believe her. But luckily you got it all on camera. But you and Greg were hooking up. I was just looking for a wrap for my wrist and then he attacked me. Oh my God, baby. Greg has been fired, expelled, and charged with sexual assault. My angel. Don't ever try to speak with me again. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. I thought Greg was one of the good ones. I hate it when I'm wrong. How's your ankle feeling? Much better. But I can't cheer for the red team. Oh, too much pressure? No. I just would rather cheer for a team that I believe in than one that's been rigged against me. <laughs> Coach Barry, I want to rejoin the blue team. And I have some ideas that'll make us all just as good as Red. I just have a few things to say. I want to say I'm sorry. Deeply sorry. I messed up, and I regret that. But Jack, you are my best friend, and I care more about you than I can ever express. And Charlotte, you've been a true friend from the start, and I screwed you over, and for that, I am forever sorry. I'm sorry I believe Victoria over the both of you. She is pure evil, and I see that now. I made mistakes, and I let this place get the better of me. But I want our team to dominate hers. I have some new choreography, and I'd love to show you both. I'm realizing now that the only way to take Victoria down is to just outperform her. Then I guess we better get practicing. It's all in the hips, okay? So make sure you keep it nice and strong. Just like that. Good. And us? Are we good? If tomorrow it's showcase, you give it everything you have. I will. Then we're good. Glad to have you back. Making some last minute changes, I see. Yeah, I see them more as improvements. 
Little risky, so close to showcase, don't you think? I'm not worried. Good. May the best team win. And may the best cheerleader get the scholarship. Indeed. I am worried. Me too. Then do what you have to do. Do you know where the car is? I have the parking up on my phone. I'll meet you there. doing what it takes to win. That's all this is, Sophia. I have to win. You're crazy. Let me go! I can't. At least not until after the showcase. People are gonna know that I'm missing. Maybe. But we are in the middle of nowhere, so it's very unlikely that anybody will come looking for you. And when the showcase is over, you will get caught. I won't. But Greg will. He was the one seeking his revenge on you. After all, you were the one that got him expelled and fired. <laughs> Careful. We all know how you feel about heights. You're insane. I earned this award. I earned this spot, and this is my turn. You're the insane one if you think that I was just gonna let that happen. Victoria, TTYL. <laughs> Please knock. She didn't sleep in her bed. Who? Sophia, she didn't come back to her room last night. I'll call her. But I've tried her all morning. This isn't right. She wouldn't miss this, would she? I think I know someone who might know where she is. She wouldn't just leave this here. Victoria! Stop walking! What do you two want? Where is Sophia? I don't know. No one's seen her since dinner yesterday. I just found this on the ground over there. My guess, the pressure got to her. Cold feet. She probably ran home to daddy. Where is she? Get off me. Don't touch me. I need to go warm up. I'm about to be crown camp champion. See you two losers. Well, hopefully never. What do we do? I don't know, but I think her phone might help. It says it's a few more miles up. Why out in the middle of nowhere? I'm trying not to think about what that can mean. I got the phone's track of previous parking spots.
you guys have any idea where they could be? No idea. Hey! Sophia! Call 911! What the hell happened? I had some... red team and now I present to you the blue team just make it happen without them you've got this Sophia sorry we're late coach it's not my fault but I'll explain it all after the showcase just take your places hurry single camper who participated this year. It's athletes like you that remind me why I became a coach. That's why I'm pleased to announce that the judges have selected this year's cheer camp champion and winner of a full ride college scholarship, Sophia Jacobs. <laughs> so happy it's you. Your mom would be so proud. Thank you. Is it okay if I say a few words? Sure. Congratulations. Thank you. thank you. I just wanted to thank Coach Cooper and Coach Mary for pushing me these last two weeks to be the best cheerleader I can be. And I want to thank my dad who has always believed in me. But most of all, I want to thank my two best friends, Jack and Charlotte. Not only are they great friends, but they also saved my life right before this very showcase. What? You see, last night, I was hit in the head, tied to a tree, and left in the middle of the woods. And that was all thanks to Victoria Richards. 
Wait. Uh, is this some sort of joke? I mean, way to win the award and spew lies. Not lies. The police department recovered camera footage from a water tower south of the interstate last night. What? There's footage of you tying her up. <gasps> Come with me. You're under arrest. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. <sighs> I can explain. I'm sure. Anything Mom? you can say can and will be used against you. you have the right Don't say anything until I've called our lawyer. There you are. You sort of took off after the ceremony. Well, I have to pack. Well, I wish you didn't leave so soon. Because I wanted to do this. It took me almost dying to make me realize how much I love you. So I don't want to burst your bubble, but I'm not sure if she was for me. And what didn't you like about it? The crazy bitch that tried to kill us? <laughs> or the long practices? Toss up.